So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover the topic what are the important steps and what you need to take care of before the price counter opens so first of all if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so as you all are aware the dark gate program will be ending on 27th of june you can see here around 11 59 pm basically on 27th only it will end so what are the important steps what you need to do for being eligible for the price counter here is the video for it but the first step is that you need to subscribe to the arcade what you need to do you have to click on this form in case you have subscribed no need to worry about it if what you need to do for new participants i'm saying just enter the email like this click on next and then click on yes yes and then just submit now a copy of this form will be sent to your email that is the proof you are subscribed to arcade and a lot of you guys must be receiving the Arcade Insider email. So if you don't know what is Arcade Insider email, let me show you. So this is my channel. In case you haven't subscribed the channel, do subscribe it. Now here you can see this is the Arcade Insider. Because basically the Arcade Insider email contains all the points detail which you have earned till now. That means suppose you have earned 20 points from January to June. It will have all the details of the points you have earned and the what new steps like which games will be live, who are the top contributors will be listed. But for your information, only the main thing is that how much points you have earned and the data is generally older. Suppose if you have completed some badges in June, it won't be shown there. Only the badges done on the uh, May will be shown in the Arcade Insider. Like if you are receiving the email in May, it will show the data of April and if you are receiving this in February, it will show the data of January. So it is basically range wise. It is based on a particular range. Now if you have received this email, no need to subscribe the RK. And if you have not received this email any time, then first of all, just resubscribe it. Even though if you have subscribed, just fill this subscription form again now what will happen once you have filled this you'll get a copy of it i said this now another thing is that make sure that the email which you are writing here let me show you so here basically we are writing this email it should match with your cloud skills boost account so how you will check let me show you you have to just open the cloud skills boost account Just sign into your Cloud Skills Boost account. And in case you are totally new, I have a detailed video how you can create a Cloud Skills Boost account and participate in the next cohort. I will share the video link in the description too. Now here you have to go to the settings, click on this. And from here, just verify your email in the email section. And as you can see, the email is same. Now just fill the form. In case the email is not same, what you need to do you have to update your email in this settings. What you need to do, you have to update this email in your settings. You can contact the Quick Lab support. How to contact? Click on this question mark. You can see email support. On the left side, you are able to see the email. You have to just mail them with your previous email ID and which email you want to update. Or you can do it manually. They will guide you how we can update it. Now, the main thing is that if you try to update the email ID, make sure to note this point that if you have participated in the arcade program your progress will be updated but if you have carrying the bonus points of the arcade facilitator program for those who don't know about the arcade facilitator program i have made a video for that also like let me show you here is the video you can see what is the arcade program arcade facilitator program the durations and their rules how you can become an arcade facilitator, I have provided that also. Many have already filled. If you haven't filled the form, you can check it out. Now, the main thing is that you have done this. The arcade program, basically the arcade facilitator program points won't be updated. So, if you have just submitted different email ID here and on arcade facilitator program also different, then your points won't be updated. If you have submitted the same email ID and public profile this is the email id okay so same email id on the google form while enrolling the arcade facilitator program also while subscribing to this arcade form then you will get the bonus point and the total points only 
and if you are already getting the bonus points in the insider email no need to worry about it you have to do nothing now make sure you have made your public profile public this is for new participant because if you have already watched my previous videos and you are participating since very long you must be aware that the public profiles should be public only now in case it's default disabled you have to just come back like we did go to profile and then settings now here click on make public profile turn these two also and click on update settings now you are able to see this public profile basically public profile contains all the badges which you have earned you can see here this is the badge which i have earned now what you need to do once you have made the public profile public you need to fill the form again yes in case your public profile was already public no need to fill the form again but in case you have made it public after the filling the form then just refill the form because the data might not got have updated because you have just recently made your public profile public i hope it clears your doubt now apart from this some of the major confusion is that can we still earn points after 27 so the answer is simple no you won't be able to earn 20 points after 27th once the program ends you will be able to restart from zero itself so some of you were thinking like i have earned 55 points can i use in the next cohort the answer is simple no you cannot use it you have to use it in this cohort so you have still time for two days that is today and on 27th so try to complete all the games as soon as possible otherwise if you miss this you won't be able to claim the swags now the next step is that i shared this now once you have done all this what you need to do you need to just wait for the email now it's up. now some important thing is that you need to take care of like once you will get the prize email you will get a unique coupon code with it like this let me show you what you will get so you will get an email like suppose it see your url and just after the slash there will be unique token code like this only as you have seen in the arcade facilitator program swags in case you haven't seen i would have shared the link of this also in the description so you don't have to share that url with anyone because the swags url is unique for all and you won't get another url in case you have shared and someone ordered the swags so make sure do not share the url with anyone just take care of it and if you don't know how to order i will make a video on it how you can order the swags don't worry video will be there you will be able to claim your swags and you will be able to redeem your hard work do not share with anyone in case you have any doubt apart from this some of you are also seeing that people are approaching that can we exchange or can you just buy my swags etc do not sell or buy these swags these are free of cost you can earn in by doing arcade games also many people get scammed due to this because some people just ask it in telegram or whatsapp group and after they get the url they just delete the account we have seen this in the past so better just do not share your url i want to share so in the summary of this video is that basically once the price counter opens you have to just do some things so first of all let's cover what we have to do before the price counter opens so basically you have to first of all subscribe to the arcade make your profile public first of all you have to make your public profile public you have to go to your profile click on this and then settings and just i said make your profile public then subscribe to the arcade now if you are getting arcade insider emails no need to subscribe again and if you want an in-depth tutorial like how we can guarantee the prizes I have shared this video if i share this complete tutorial then it will become lengthy so must watch this video to guarantee your price and a lot of you guys were having queries can we claim multiple account swags or multiple swags you can watch this and here is completely guidelines now if you're new to this arcade and you want to participate in the next cohort how to create account how to make public profile public what are the steps how to subscribe the arcade here is the video guide you must watch this video if you are new to this arcade program apart from this one more query i wanted to answer that most of you are facing that while ordering the swags make sure to enter the correct name also make sure to do one more thing that while ordering make sure if you are ordering 
like for your brothers and sisters also then make sure to use each account uh, each number like separate numbers should be used for per account that means suppose if you have arcade trooper if you have earned arcade trooper arcade ranger or arcade champion you need to do what use another number for trooper ranger and champion you don't have to use same number otherwise it will come under violation of the multiple accounts you can see while filling this form here was the rule you can see it let me fill it again show you here in the guidelines it is clearly mentioned that one account one email for the cohort using multiple accounts may lead to disqualification and one more important thing is that here we have yes only one set of prizes can be claimed per mobile cell phone number so make sure to use different name and numbers while ordering the swags i hope this clears your doubt this was the most asked doubt and if you have any queries you can let me know in the comments these games code to closing and certification zone have been ended now remaining games are already live if you want to complete and remaining just you need few badges like suppose if you have 17 points just complete these trivias and get at least a basic tower swag for this session and for the next cohort we'll be having cool hoodies and exciting electronic item swags so i hope you are enjoying this arcade program comment down your favorite swag for this cohort and do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead